typed it was five. I got four cards. So I'm going to get the whole big old deck. And let's see what jumps out. This this really helped. Like that goddess card is staring right at me, y'all. I was like, hey. Hey, goddess of love. How you doing? One more card, please, and thank you, spirit. Whoa, the thief jumped out. The shadow attribute says stealing money, creative ideas, affection, or other powers you think you lack. I don't have that issue. I think I'm really creative. All my creative juices flow in, in such a vast way like i don't need to steal anybody else's ideas or you know steal them you know like if anything you learn from somebody or you admire about them flip it and like say wow like i really love how she shaved her hair off like that with this fro situation going on you know but you know what i'm more inclined to, to shave this side so now if I see you didn't shave your side of your head, I ain't mad about it. That just means you admire me. But it's some people that be so envious of the light in your eyes that they want to pluck out your, just they want to pluck them out. Now that's on a whole nother level of stealing. I don't hear, this, I'm hearing the song cheating in the next room. 1144 on the clock. All right. So, yeah, I don't have to steal nobody's man. I don't know why this is coming in, but I don't have to steal nobody's man to try to get out poverty. Like, I don't I don't flow like that. I don't flow like that. I don't know why that came in. I don't know what that is. And so the light attribute of the thief card says sheds light on the potential wealth within you that can never be stolen. And it is a man on this, y'all. <laughs> Look at this man standing on there like, hey, girl, I got a heart for you. I got a heart for you, girl. Look how his hips is. And to me, that's saying that he's going to be very playful, very playful and making me laugh a lot, just doing stupid shit, playing dress up and everything. I love that. So even if he's an older man, He's very, 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 very has a childlike quality of playfulness and making me laugh all the time. I, I'm i literally hearing stealing away. I'm going to steal away your sorrow. That's deep. That's deep, y'all. Mm, okay. So let's read the last one. Let's leave. That's the. See? See? Stealing money. Who's stealing some money? Okay. So, boom. Where we at? The We did the nature child. The eternal thing. Oh, y'all. Hold on. We got one more. We got the eternal child. So, we finna read that. Well, then we got the dependent child. Okay. So, the eternal child says, sometimes called the pure boy or the puella girl. In turnus guides us to remain forever young. I just said that in body, mind, and spirit, and not to let physical age stop us from enjoying life. That's right. And that's why y'all can tell when I'm really flared up, this inflammation going on, my stress level brings it on, is when I'm looking like this, and I just love myself and keep it moving. Don't stop. Okay. All right. Okay. So um, yes, love me, <laughs> celebrate me. Let's keep going. Come on, me and spirit got stuff to do. All right. So it says the shadow eternal child often manifests as an inability to grow up and embrace the responsibility, the responsible life of an adult. I just got through talking about that. Okay. Like Peter Pan, the pure eternist resists ending a cycle of life in which he's free to live out there. Go that liberator. Free to live outside the boundaries of conventional adulthood. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so that's the pure, so that's the boy. That's the boy. And the girl aspect. Mm-hmm. No, that's the boy aspect because it says a pure air. Eternus would be the boy. Okay. Okay. The shadow Piela Eternus, which is the girl, can manifest in women as extreme dependence on those who take charge of their physical security. That, see? That ties right back into what I was talking about. Women having this dependency, like, you know, shake what your mama gave you, you know, um, um, use what I got till I get what I want, like that type of stuff, you know, on, on Players Club. She believes that she can't be relied on, nor can she accept the aging process. Wow, that's deep. That's deep, deep, deep. I think I'm going to use a different color for that piece right there. That was deep. That was deep. So another thing that this is doing is highlighting things that I don't have issues with so that's what's wonderful about this too so that was the eternal child now, do we got one more after this one no so then i can put this one over here to let it be known that we're going to the second archetypal and that's going to come out on another day yay, 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 yay. so we got one more so let's get one more card this is good hmm Oh, and when I get this last card out and this last message about the uh, four archetypes of survival dealing with the child, okay, the child, then I'm going to end this one and then I'm going to try my best to see how much energy I got left on this phone, memory, and then I'm going to continue. There go that night. Night rider, baby. I'm hearing that song, night rider. Mm-hmm. And I'm also hearing vanity. Sex shooter. Shooting love in your effect. Shooting love in your direction. I'm here. I'm seeing Knight of Wands. I don't know. I'm seeing Knight of Wands. The shadow attributes is allegiance to a destructive ruler or principle. Romantic delusions. Yep. The Knight of Wands could always want to get it in. Come on, baby. Let me get it in and get a little skin. Oh, you want me to lay with you and cuddle? Hmm. Well, I can't deal with that right now, baby. No, no. No can do. Ah. The light attributes is loyalty, romance, and chivalry. A love of honor. So, you know, like I said, um, I'm not fixing to be in any kind of a relationship where I feel like I have to take an allegiance to a tyrannical dictator type of man that's very, very, very emotionally, physically, uh, uh, um, he's abusive. Okay, he's a womanizer to the to, to the thirty third degree. It ain't happening. Okay, so let's read the last one on her. The dependent child. Yeah. Okay, so it says the needy or dependent child carries a heavy feeling inside that nothing is ever enough and always seeks to replace something lost in childhood, although exactly what is never clear. So to me, this is literally when these men can't stop slanging their little dang lane all over the place. Chang lane, chang lane, they can't stop slanging their dang lane. That's, that's how I feel about that. They just, you know, just, you know, running around town trying to get it. That's how that is. And it goes right hand in hand with the what? The pure, um, what was it? The pure internus, which would be the boy, the internal child boy, okay, who will resist ending a cycle of life in which he's free to live outside the boundaries of conventional adulthood. Okay, so that would mean that, you know, he still cannot grow up and, and like get out like well i'm supposed to have sex i'm supposed to i'm a man and what are you talking about like if i hear one more man ever tell me he a man and matter of fact then the last time a man told me that i said are you sure 
Why you got to tell me what's between your legs? Because all you're doing is, is identifying your sexuality. The man that I'm speaking of has a lot to do with your spirituality, beloved. Okay, so I think we got it. Uh, um, the child, wounded child, abandoned nature, eternal dependent. Okay, and the victim is going to be the next one. So we're going to do the victim. We're going to do the victim in blue. Just because, you know, feeling like the victim can make you feel blue. So I can know that that's the second archetype. Let me get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. So I can know I'm color coding, y'all. So spirit, uh, is there anything else you want me to know about the night? Oh, that's the, okay. So under, under victim. Oh, so it's victim, saboteur. And the prostitute. So that's how I go. So only the child. Only the child. Um, survival archetype has. One, two, three, four, five, six. Different subcategories. Okay. I don't think I finished reading this. What Spirit said. The needy or dependent child carries a heavy feeling inside that nothing is ever enough and always seeks to replace something lost in childhood, although exactly what that is, they never clear on. As with the wounded child, this leads to bouts of depression, only very severe and more severe. The dependent child tends to be focused on his own needs, often unable to see the needs of others. Did I just say that? Did I not just say that that's how that extreme malignant narcissistic personality is born okay but you can't as women dealing with a man like that we definitely cannot allow ourselves to be abused like that and used like that and depleted as with all apparently negative archetypes you can learn to recognize its emergence and use it as a guide to alert you when you're in danger just like i just talked about yes of falling into needy self-absorbed attitudes and behaviors so those these dependent children you know um can tend to be like that yeah i i totally saw that in quasi rael i definitely see that in my ex-husband um t the actor and um definitely seen that in my ex-love christopher williams so it's 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 it's, it's, it's a reason why i kept attracting that energy okay so that is beautiful y'all so let me take i think i'm gonna take a picture of this <clears throat> y'all know how i do it and i'll be forgetting to put the cards up in the the, the pics i'll be forgetting y'all my bad my bad i did put it in one of the other ones because i remember but it's been so much going on so y'all already know Okay, and then we finna get rest. We finna finish the spread out. So let me get this. So I can get this in. Yeah, so that's gonna be good. How I'm gonna break that up into the four archetypes, the six, the six subtypes of whatever it's gonna be called, sub something, right? Of so I'm going to title the survival archetype child. The child survival archetype. I might put it on the thumbnail, something like that. Yeah, but these cards are very, very, very pertinent to this psychic intuitive counseling session. So since I did all those, I got a picture of it. They can go away now. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and get into the rest of what Spirit has to show me. Telling you guys, if you start a YouTube channel where you're doing your own shadow work and you want to do it through YouTube or some kind of way, it starts to evolve that your YouTube channel, um, your personal YouTube channel, uh, started being about you doing your shadow work to heal. And you found my channel, please go get you some of these, beloved, and work with them. Amazon.com. I'll try to remember to put the link in the description box. Okay. 
all right? I like to spoil y'all so you don't have to, well, I didn't know what she said it was called. I don't know what part of the eat the video it was or whatever. You know, it'll be right in the description box. So there's no excuses. Do the work. Okay, so let me go ahead and stop this version right here. And I'll be back to finish the spread.